Hey, this is Robert. Not particularly looking my best, but I'm doing this video for a reason because I've been in my apartment for about six weeks. An occasional run out to get food. And I'm reading about these protests, of, you know, getting restarted. And I, look, I have a friend who just called me and told me that five of her colleagues died from coronavirus. She works in public assistance. These people go out there and try to help the elderly at nursing homes, get things done for people, and they're dying on the front line of their work. I have two reports of two 26-year-old people who died one in two days of getting the virus two weeks before her wedding. This thing has no demographics. Unfortunately, well, never mind, I won't go there about, never mind, I, have, I had a bad thought about the protesters. <clears throat> I think it's just a case of rampant denial in the face of something that's so horrible we can't understand it. And we have to have sympathy for both sides, but at the same time, we have to be realistic about what's going on here. And I'm willing to smell like crap in my own dirty laundry because I just don't feel like doing it and look like shit because I don't feel like taking care of all of this right now. I'm depressed, <laughs> but I'm alive. Count your blessings and take care of your fellow man by at least operating from the point of view that just maybe, just maybe this thing is real. End of diatribe.